This is my iPhone 12 mini and on it I've got the Saddle Brown MagSafe leather case. Now I bought this right with the phone and I made a video about it um, when I got it. So I showcased exactly what it looked like when it was brand new and I decided to make a little bit of an update video to show you guys how it's patinaing, what the wear is and how the case has aged overall. So this has been, as I said, two months, probably give a little bit more, um, a little bit over two months, but still, uh, I wasn't using this phone a lot for the first month of uh, ownership. I was using the 12 Pro Max since I was reviewing that. So I was using it, but not as much as the 12 Pro Max. But in the last month, I've only been using this and there's been a lot more aging. And it's the last couple of weeks where I've noticed a lot more aging. So right off the bat, uh, let me tell you guys what I've noticed. So the edges here are definitely starting to become a very nice dark brown color. On camera, it might almost look black, but I assure you it is not black. It is a dark, dark brown color. You definitely have to see it in the right light with the right angle. Uh, the entire kind of back edge of the phone has started to patina. There's a few spots here and there that aren't uh, doing it, but I'm sure over time it will. Uh, the sides for the most part are pretty much clean, nothing on them to, to speak of really. Uh, the real aging has been the lip uh, on the front and this edge on the back. So here's the front edge and on this you guys can see uh, this is definitely a lot more aged. It almost looks like a black case if you don't have it, uh, you know, turn around. So this is a dark brown, but here, sorry, this is a light tannish brown and this is almost dark brown. So if you don't have it on its side, you guys can see this is a much darker color now compared to the sides and the back. And I'm guessing that this is pretty much going to be more or less the final kind of color, this deep brown color. Uh, I am currently, I'm not liking the progress it's at, like the stage it's at is not something I'm liking, but uh, I'm certain as it ages, I will like it a lot more. So let me just do, show you guys the, the case without the phone in it. So you have a better look at exactly what the case is aging as and uh you have a really good look at the corners no real wear around the buttons i thought maybe the buttons would definitely uh this area would get more wear because i'm constantly using those you know especially the power button but so far nothing you know no no big deal uh no noticeable wear either which is something that surprised me for sure uh the inside pretty clean uh doesn't let dust in that's good i've noticed that the, there's rarely ever dust on the back part of the phone or even near the camera the one place where there's a lot of dust trapped though is right within the cameras. So I'm sorry, not right within the edges between uh, this kind of, uh, now you, it may look like it's because of my tempered glass, but not really. The real reason there's, uh, there's always dust right here in that small gap between the glass of the phone and the edge of the case. There's a little bit of metal right there and it's inlaid a little bit. Let me see if I can get an angle there where you guys can see the reflection of that blue. So right there, you guys can see, there's just that little bit of metal and there's always somehow dust that gets stuck in there, probably from, you know, putting in pockets, putting it here and there. So that is one thing I noticed in my two month usage of this is that that dust seems to collect a lot more on this case than any other leather case I've used recently. But overall, this is kind of the look at the, uh, the, the this uh, Saddle Brown case. I will throw up a couple of previous, you know, when I bought this brand new uh, clips of what the case looked like. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like now comparatively. This is the uh, aged, slightly aged version. So there's not a lot, a lot to report, but definitely enough that I thought it warranted just a little bit of a quick update on the aging of this case. I will definitely be doing more as it ages a little bit, you know, and I'm, I'm next hoping the back starts to age a lot more uh, because that's the one part where I really want to see this dark brown color come through. It'll look really nice, I think. Uh, so that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think of the Saddle Brown leather case for the iPhone 12 mini. Uh, this is, of course, the blue one. So this is what it looks like with this. So if you guys were wondering or if you wanted to buy this in particular, this is what it will look like at least two months in. And if you have a leather case, let me know what you think of yours. And if you have pictures or something, share them with me. I'd love to see how your cases are aging. So uh, if you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on social media. I'll have all the handles right here on the screen. And of course, down in the description below, send me your photos. I'd love to see how your case is aging. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more leather case updates. Uh, pretty soon, I'll be doing a Baltic blue one, probably in the next couple of weeks, where I'll show you how that one ages. So this is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh